is my very first day um, my vacation I will be off for I think 16 days and this is my whole two weeks of just focusing on getting everything organized for the new year working on goal setting really planning out my year and saying what would I like to do for self-care, fitness goals, career goals, everything like that. I will be taking you guys through that whole kind of vibe throughout the next, like this video and probably the next two videos of the year. With that, let's get started. The first thing of the day for my first day off is focusing on getting Christmas presents. And one of the hardest people that I have to shop for and just trying to please is my mom. So this year I actually ended up finding a bunch of really cute things at Hobby Lobby to put together a really big basket and I kind of went nuts this year. Normally with my mom, I give her a gift card and I'm like, usually like a Visa gift card and I'm like, here, find something for yourself. But this year I, thought I found a bunch of cutesy like holiday stuff and I know that she's gonna love it. Next thing I'm gonna be focusing on this week, the next couple of days, is just looking at my list of incomplete. Link incompletes are things that are like in the back of your head. You know you need to get them done, but you just never make time to get them done. And I have a couple things. Number one thing is just getting rid of extra stuff that I don't need. That means old clothes that don't fit anymore, or furniture that I've been saying I'm gonna get rid of, and you know, just a ton of stuff that I've been saying I need to downsize. I also need to downsize on books. I have a pretty big library of books and I just need to start kind of getting rid of some of my books and just getting leaning, leaning down my bookcase a little bit. So I'm going to be working on those this week. So number one, I'm going to work on just doing like a really good deep cleaning. Number two, I need to find my plug for my water pick it helps me it's like my water flosser i haven't seen that in months and i don't know where it is so i can't use it right now and then also one of my other incompletes is i need to clean up my car it's a complete and total mess and getting things donated so that's what i'm going to be working on this week so i'll take you along on my journey but first i'm going to show you my mom's gift bag for Christmas, which it's so cute. So, here is my mom's gift basket this year. So, there's a lot of stuff in here. I got her a couple of dishes, and then I saw this, number one, it's all started out with just this cute, like, hot chocolate little sign that you had. I had this idea to just do, like, a big hot chocolate themed, like, basket. But then I was like, I kept seeing the stuff that I like. So I ended up finding these cute little gingerbread, they're little oven mitts, and I thought they were cute. And then I walked by and I saw this Let It Snow soap, and I'm like, okay, that's like part of the theme. And then I got my mom like, the little black Santa ornament. And then I saw this dark chocolate chip cookie kind of mix that's a snowman that's all together. So I grabbed that because I'm like, okay, it goes with like the oven mitts. I found this apron that's down below and it says Mrs. Claus. I got that I think for like $8. It was ridiculous. And then I saw this little tree thing. This is only a few bucks because I just thought it was cool. Behind there, I have some um, Ghirardelli double chocolate hot chocolate and there's cookies behind. My mom's really into the stuff. And then um, I bought my mom something in Amsterdam and I've been holding on to it since um, I got back in September. So I'm gonna give that to her. It's like a little platter, but it says God found some of the strongest people and made them nurses feeling festive. I almost bought that for myself. And then that cracker fighting. That's what I like, touched the hot chocolate bomb that somebody took her. And so I got her like two of those little dish rag so there's one that's like hot chocolate and then here's another one that's gingerbread and I just thought these were so cute so yeah so I'm gonna end up wrapping it with cellophane and getting 
giving it to her on Christmas, and I really feel confident that she's gonna love it. And then my last find is this cutting board, and it's all like Santa hot cocoa. So I thought this would be kind of cute that my mom can pull out during the holidays to prep all her Christmas treats. Hi, so today's Monday, and this is like my official first day off for the weekend. And I am, I just got done volunteering for a local nonprofit. We were sorting and wrapping gifts. I was hoping we were doing more wrapping of gifts, but instead we did more sorting. A lot of donations, which is really good to see. So I spent two hours doing that. And I am also on a kick right now where I really want to organize and clean my room for the new year. So I think I'm gonna go look for some jars and I saw this gal on TikTok and she has like, she took all of her cleaning products, put them in clear bottles and then she labeled all of them. And I'm like, I think I kind of want to do that. So like everything is uniform, everything's the same size. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna run over probably, I love Hobby Lobby and since it's like right down the road, I think I'm gonna go there. And I'm also trying to get some ideas for like my sister's gifts and my aunt. So I'm gonna make gift baskets this year. So I'm just trying to find things that I can like throw into the gift basket. So that's the plan for today. I hope to work out at some point, probably later this evening, so I can really stay on task with my fitness. I didn't work out most of last week because most of our classes were canceled. So I need to get into the gym and lift some weights. And most importantly, because it's a brain thing, like if I don't move my body, like, vigorously throughout the day, then I am a complete and total emotional wreck, like I was yesterday. So anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. And I, as I go shopping and looking for my cleaning products, I'm probably gonna find it at like Target. And I'm trying to do it on a budget. I pulled out a bunch of cash, so I would have that when I am out and about, instead of using my card. So I'm trying to do that for the holidays. So here's one of my projects that I did. I would say that I'm like, this is part one. I'm not quite done with it yet, but I got these, actually I got four of these containers, these like large mason jars from Target. And they only cost, I think only, yeah, they only cost $5. And then I got these clear containers at Target. They were also pretty, inexpensive and I ordered some clear bottles and then I'm going to take all the cleaning products out and put them in the bottles and label them and it's going to look really nice and uniform and then I'm going to have also like tags on the front as well so I can label all the different products. I have baking soda, detergent, and I'm missing one other thing that we need to add in here.
hey, so I just got back from the Dave Cause and Friends Christmas concert and it was amazingly great. It was fantastic. He had some really wonderful artists that were with him. It was just I was jamming, sitting in the third row, snapping my fingers and stuff. It was like, it was so good. So good. So yeah, I, that was the one Christmas thing that I really was looking forward to doing was going to see him in concert. And he's a great jazz artist. I've been listening to him since like, I was like little. And so I should check him out. So yeah, what else is happening this week? Well, I am number one was at urgent care at 3 a.m on saturday early sunday morning and that was a whole nother story let's just say i had an allergic reaction to to something and it was not a very comfortable situation anyways so i had to drive down to urgent care that was like 35 to 40 minutes from my house because it was the only one open to get seen and I was there until like 5 30 and then I had to go to the grocery store because I needed to get some um some cream that they recommended and then they gave me antibiotic when I was there and they prescribed me one more which I had to take tonight and then I did something stupid opening up I mean I don't even remember I was opening up but I ended up poking my finger and now it's all puffy and infected. So I'm gonna have to, I'm hoping I don't have to go to urgent care again to get this looked at, but it's like, it's all red and swollen and I put the antibiotic ointment on it for the past couple of days and it feels like it's just worse today. So anyways, that's how my first few days of vacation have been going. Not so fun, but I still have Christmas shopping to do for the rest of my family. I haven't done that. I got my mom's gift done and everyone else. I have to kind of brainstorm and figure out what I'm going to do. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.